Louisiana CDL Passenger Vehicles Test Question 1. When inspecting your bus, you must make sure that Every handhold and railing is secure. Emergency exit handles are secure. Rider signaling devices are working. All of the above. Answer. All of the above. Question 2. You must not allow rider to stand. Within two feet of an emergency exit. Between the wheel wells. Within two feet of any window. In front of the standee line. Answer. In front of the standee line. Question 3. Which of the following types of emergency equipment must you have on your bus? Fire extinguisher, spare electric fuses, reflectors, hydraulic jack, fire extinguisher, signal flares, spare electric fuses, fire extinguisher, and accident reporting kit, reflectors, fire extinguisher, accident reporting kit. Answer Fire extinguisher Spare electric fuses, reflectors. Question 4. Never refuel your bus. With any of the windows open. In a closed building with passengers on board. Without a static chain. With a higher grade of fuel. Answer. In a closed building with passengers on board. Question 5. How many seats may be placed in the aisle if the bus is a charter and is carrying agricultural, farm, workers? 8. 4. 6. 0. Answer. 8. Question 6. Your bus is disabled. The bus, with riders aboard, may be towed or pushed to a safe place only. If getting off the bus would be more risky for the riders, buy a 27,000 GVWR or larger tow truck. Buy another bus with its four way flashers on. If the distance is less than 500 yards. Answer. If getting off the bus would be more risky for the riders. Question 7. When stopping for railroad tracks, you must stop no closer than how many feet before the nearest track? 20. 25. 15. 50. Answer. 15. Question 8. If a rider wants to bring a car battery or a can of gasoline or kerosene aboard your bus, you should not allow them to do it. Have the rider pay a second fare. Instruct them to sit next to an open window. Tell them they must go to the rear of the bus. Answer. Not allow them to do it. Question 9. You may sometimes haul small arms ammunition, emergency shipments of drugs or hospital supplies on a bus. The total weight of all such hazardous material must not be greater than 500 pounds 300 pounds 100 pounds 250 pounds Answer 
500 pounds. Question 10. When you discharge an unruly passenger, you must choose a place that is the next stop as safe as possible or the next stop off the regular route dark and poorly lighted answer as safe as possible or the next stop question 11 you must not allow rider to stand between the wheel wells in front of the standee line within two feet of an emergency exit within two feet of any window answer in front of the standee line question 12 if a rider wants to bring a car battery or a can of gasoline or kerosene aboard your bus, you should Have the rider pay a second fare Not allow them to do it Instruct them to sit next to an open window Tell them they must go to the rear of the bus Answer Not allow them to do it Question 13. When stopping for railroad tracks, you must stop no closer than how many feet before the nearest track? 50 15 25 20 Answer 15 Question 14. Buses may have recapped or regrooved tires. Only on the front wheels. Only when the average speed will be less than 40 miles per hour. On any or all of the wheels. Anywhere except the front wheels. Answer. Anywhere except the front wheels. Question 15. Your bus is disabled. The bus, with riders aboard, may be towed or pushed to a safe place only. By a 27,000 GVWR or larger tow truck. If getting off the bus would be more risky for the riders. If the distance is less than 500 yards. By another bus with its four-way flashers on. Answer. If getting off the bus would be more risky for the riders. Question 16. You must not allow rider to stand. Within two feet of any window. Within two feet of an emergency exit. Between the wheel wells. In front of the standee line. Answer. In front of the standee line. Question 17. You may sometimes haul small arms ammunition, emergency shipments of drugs or hospital supplies on a bus. The total weight of all such hazardous material must not be greater than 300 pounds. 500 pounds. 250 pounds 100 pounds Answer 500 pounds Question 18. The reason you must be alert for road hazard is so Law enforcement personnel can be called Accident reports will be accurate you will have time to plan your escape if the hazard becomes an emergency. You can help impair drivers. Answer 
you will have time to plan your escape if the hazard becomes an emergency. Question 19. Which one of the following types of cargo must never be carried on a bus with the passenger? Small arms ammunition, ORMT. Emergency hospital supplies. Emergency drug shipments. Tear gas. Answer. Tear gas. Question 20. If your bus is equipped with an emergency exit door, it must be secured when the bus is being driven. Always have a red door light turned on. Not have any signs, stickers or marking near it. All of the above. Answer. Be secured when the bus is being driven. Question 21. When stopping for railroad tracks, you must stop no closer than how many feet before the nearest track? 50 15 20 25 Answer 15 Question 22 your bus is disabled. The bus, with riders aboard, may be towed or pushed to a safe place only. By another bus with its four-way flashers on. If the distance is less than 500 yards. By a 27,000 GVWR or larger tow truck. If getting off the bus would be more risky for the riders. Answer. If getting off the bus would be more risky for the riders. Question 23. Which one of the following types of cargo must never be carried on a bus with the passenger? Small arms ammunition, ORMT. Tear gas. Emergency drug shipments. Emergency hospital supplies. Answer. Tear gas. Question 24. If your bus is equipped with an emergency exit door, it must. Always have a red door light turned on. Be secured when the bus is being driven. Not have any signs stickers or marking near it all of the above answer be secured when the bus is being driven question 25 you must not allow rider to stand in front of the standee line between the wheel wells Within two feet of an emergency exit. Within two feet of any window. Answer. In front of the standee line. Question 26. How many folding aisle seats are permitted in a bus that is not carrying farm workers? Six. Four. Eight. Zero. Answer. Zero. Question 27. Which of the following types of emergency equipment must you have on your bus? Fire extinguisher, spare electric fuses, reflectors. Spare electric fuses, fire extinguisher and accident reporting kit. Reflectors, fire extinguisher, accident reporting kit. Hydraulic jack, fire extinguisher, signal flares. Answer. Fire extinguisher, 
spare electric fuses, reflectors. Question 28. Which of these statements about speed management and braking is true? You need about four times as much stopping distance at 40 miles per hour as at 20 miles per hour. The posted speed limit will always allow you to stop safely. The total stopping distance of a bus is the distance it takes to stop once the brakes are put on. Stopping time increases one second for each 10 miles per hour over 20 miles per hour. Answer You need about four times as much stopping distance at 40 miles per hour as at 20 miles per hour. Question 29 you may sometimes haul small arms ammunition, emergency shipments of drugs or hospital supplies on a bus. The total weight of all such hazardous material must not be greater than 100 pounds 500 pounds 300 pounds 250 pounds Answer 500 pounds. Question 30. When is it best to wear your seat belt? Only if your bus holds more than 27 people. Only when you will be driving over 35 miles per hour. Only if required by company policy. Always. Answer. Always. Question 31. Never refuel your bus. In a closed building with passengers on board. With any of the windows open. Without a static chain. With a higher grade of fuel. Answer. In a closed building with passengers on board. Question 32. Buses may have recapped or regrooved tires. Only when the average speed will be less than 40 miles per hour. Only on the front wheels. Anywhere except the front wheels. On any or all of the wheels. Answer. Anywhere except the front wheels. Question 33. When you discharge an unruly passenger, you must choose a place that is. The next stop. Off the regular route. Dark and poorly lighted. As safe as possible, or the next stop. Answer. As safe as possible, or the next stop. Question 34. You may sometimes haul small arms ammunition, emergency shipments of drugs or hospital supplies on a bus. The total weight of all such hazardous material must not be greater than 500 pounds 100 pounds 300 pounds 250 pounds Answer 500 pounds Question 35 When should you check your mirrors for a lane change Before and after signaling the change After completing the lane change Right after starting the lane change All of the above Answer all of the above. Question 36. When inspecting your bus, you must make sure that Rider signaling devices are working. Emergency exit handles are secure. 
Every handhold and railing is secure. All of the above. Answer. All of the above. Question 37. How many folding aisle seats are permitted in a bus that is not carrying farm workers? Zero. Eight. Six. Four. Answer. Zero. Question 38. How many seats may be placed in the aisle if the bus is a charter and is carrying agricultural, farm, workers? 4 8 0 6 Answer 8 Question 39 when should you check your mirrors for a lane change? Before and after signaling the change. Right after starting the lane change. After completing the lane change. All of the above. Answer. All of the above. Question 40. You may sometimes haul small arms ammunition, emergency shipments of drugs or hospital supplies on a bus. The total weight of all such hazardous material must not be greater than 100 pounds 500 pounds 250 pounds 300 pounds Answer 500 pounds. Question 41. Your bus is disabled. The bus, with riders aboard, may be towed or pushed to a safe place only. If the distance is less than 500 yards. If getting off the bus would be more risky for the riders. By another bus with its four way flashers on. By a 27,000 GVWR or larger tow truck. Answer. If getting off the bus would be more risky for the riders. Question 42. Which one of the following types of cargo must never be carried on a bus with the passenger? Emergency drug shipments. Small arms ammunition, ORMT. Tear gas. Emergency hospital supplies. Answer. Tear gas. Question 43. Which of the following types of emergency equipment must you have on your bus? Reflectors, fire extinguisher. Accident reporting kit. Fire extinguisher, spare electric fuses, reflectors. Hydraulic jack, fire extinguisher, signal flares. Spare electric fuses, fire extinguisher, and accident reporting kit. Answer Fire extinguisher, spare electric fuses, reflectors. Question 44. When inspecting your bus, you must make sure that Emergency exit handles are secure. Rider signaling devices are working. Every handhold and railing is secure. All of the above. Answer. All of the above. Question 45. If the rider wants to bring a car battery or a can of gasoline or kerosene aboard your bus, you should Tell them they must go to the rear of the bus. Not allow them to do it. 
Instruct them to sit next to an open window. Have the rider pay a second fare. Answer. Not allow them to do it. Question 46. When you discharge an unruly passenger, you must choose a place that is. The next stop. Dark and poorly lighted. As safe as possible, or the next stop. Off the regular route. Answer. As safe as possible, or the next stop. Question 47. When should you check your mirrors for a lane change? Right after starting the lane change. After completing the lane change. Before and after signaling the change. All of the above. Answer. All of the above. Question 48. You may sometimes haul small arms ammunition, emergency shipments of drugs or hospital supplies on a bus. The total weight of all such hazardous material must not be greater than 100 pounds 300 pounds 250 pounds 500 pounds Answer 500 pounds Question 49 the reason you must be alert for road hazard is so. You will have time to plan your escape if the hazard becomes an emergency. You can help impair drivers. Accident reports will be accurate. Law enforcement personnel can be called. Answer. You will have time to plan your escape if the hazard becomes an emergency. Question 50. If a rider wants to bring a car battery or a can of gasoline or kerosene aboard your bus, you should Tell them they must go to the rear of the bus. Not allow them to do it. Instruct them to sit next to an open window. Have the rider pay a second fare. Answer. Not allow them to do it. Question 51. Buses may have recapped or regrooved tires. Only when the average speed will be less than 40 miles per hour. Only on the front wheels. On any or all of the wheels. Anywhere except the front wheels. Answer. Anywhere except the front wheels. Question 52. When is it best to wear your seat belt? Only if required by company policy. Only when you will be driving over 35 miles per hour. Only if your bus holds more than 27 people. Always. Answer. Always. Question 53. You must not allow rider to stand. In front of the standee line. Between the wheel wells. Within two feet of an emergency exit. Within two feet of any window. Answer. In front of the standee line. Question 54. When inspecting your bus, you must make sure that. Emergency exit handles are secure. Rider signaling devices are working. Every handhold and railing is secure. All of the above. 
Answer. All of the above. Question 55. Which one of the following types of cargo must never be carried on a bus with the passenger? Emergency hospital supplies. Small arms ammunition, ORMD. Tear gas. Emergency drug shipments. Answer. Tear gas. Question 56. Which of these statements about speed management and braking is true? The posted speed limit will always allow you to stop safely. The total stopping distance of a bus is the distance it takes to stop once the brakes are put on. You need about four times as much stopping distance at 40 miles per hour as at 20 miles per hour. Stopping time increases one second for each 10 miles per hour over 20 miles per hour. Answer You need about four times as much stopping distance at 40 miles per hour as at 20 miles per hour. Question 57 Which of the following types of emergency equipment must you have on your bus? Fire extinguisher, spare electric fuses, reflectors, hydraulic jack, fire extinguisher, signal flares, reflectors, fire extinguisher, accident reporting kit, spare electric fuses, fire extinguisher, and accident reporting kit. Answer Fire extinguisher Spare electric fuses, reflectors. Question 58. You may sometimes haul small arms ammunition, emergency shipments of drugs or hospital supplies on a bus. The total weight of all such hazardous material must not be greater than 250 pounds 100 pounds 300 pounds 500 pounds Answer 500 pounds Question 59 When inspecting your bus, you must make sure that Every handhold and railing is secure Emergency exit handles are secure Rider signaling devices are working. All of the above. Answer. All of the above. Question 60. If your bus is equipped with an emergency exit door, it must Not have any signs, stickers or marking near it. Always have a red door light turned on. Be secured when the bus is being driven. All of the above. Answer Be secured when the bus is being driven. Question 61 Which of these statements about speed management and braking is true? You need about four times as much stopping distance at 40 miles per hour as at 20 miles per hour. The total stopping distance of a bus is the distance it takes to stop once the brakes are put on. Stopping time increases one second for each 10 miles per hour over 20 miles per hour. The posted speed limit will always allow you to stop safely. Answer You need about four times as much stopping distance at 40 miles per hour as at 20 miles per hour. Question 62 You may sometimes haul small arms ammunition, emergency shipments of drugs or hospital supplies on a bus. The total weight of all such hazardous material must not be greater than 
300 pounds 500 pounds 250 pounds 100 pounds Answer 500 pounds Question 63 If your bus is equipped with an emergency exit door, it must Always have a red door light turned on Not have any signs, stickers or marking near it Be secured when the bus is being driven All of the above Answer Be secured when the bus is being driven Question 64. The reason you must be alert for road hazard is so. Accident reports will be accurate. You will have time to plan your escape if the hazard becomes an emergency. You can help impair drivers. Law enforcement personnel can be called. Answer. You will have time to plan your escape if the hazard becomes an emergency. Question 65. When inspecting your bus, you must make sure that Emergency exit handles are secure. Rider signaling devices are working. Every handhold and railing is secure. All of the above. Answer All of the above Question 66 How many folding aisle seats are permitted in a bus that is not carrying farm workers? 8 4 0 6 Answer 0 Question 67. How many folding aisle seats are permitted in a bus that is not carrying farm workers? 6 4 8 0 Answer 0 Question 68. Which of the following types of emergency equipment must you have on your bus? Spare electric fuses, fire extinguisher, and accident reporting kit. Reflectors, fire extinguisher, accident reporting kit. Fire extinguisher, spare electric fuses, reflectors. Hydraulic jack, fire extinguisher, signal flares. Answer Fire extinguisher, spare electric fuses, reflectors Question 69, when inspecting your bus, you must make sure that Every handhold and railing is secure Rider signaling devices are working Emergency exit handles are secure all of the above Answer All of the above Question 70 Buses may have recapped or regrooved tires Anywhere except the front wheels Only on the front wheels Only when the average speed will be less than 40 miles per hour on any or all of the wheels. Answer Anywhere except the front wheels. Question 71 When stopping for railroad tracks, you must stop no closer than how many feet before the nearest track? 50 15 20 25 
Answer. 15. Question 72. When you discharge an unruly passenger, you must choose a place that is dark and poorly lighted, off the regular route, as safe as possible, or the next stop. The next stop. Answer. As safe as possible, or the next stop. Question 73. Never refuel your bus. With a higher grade of fuel. In a closed building with passengers on board. With any of the windows open. Without a static chain. Answer. In a closed building with passengers on board. Question 74. Which of these statements about speed management and braking is true? You need about four times as much stopping distance at 40 miles per hour as at 20 miles per hour. The posted speed limit will always allow you to stop safely. Stopping time increases one second for each 10 miles per hour over 20 miles per hour. The total stopping distance of a bus is the distance it takes to stop once the brakes are put on. Answer You need about four times as much stopping distance at 40 miles per hour as at 20 miles per hour. Question 75. A bus may carry baggage or freight in the passenger area only if it is secured and meets which of the following requirements? The driver can move freely and easily. Any rider can use all exits. Riders are protected from falling of shifting packages. All of the above. Answer. All of the above. Question 76. If a rider wants to bring a car battery or a can of gasoline or kerosene aboard your bus, you should Tell them they must go to the rear of the bus. Have the rider pay a second fare. Not allow them to do it. Instruct them to sit next to an open window. Answer Not allow them to do it. Question 77 If your bus is equipped with an emergency exit door, it must Not have any signs, stickers or marking near it. Always have a red door light turned on. Be secured when the bus is being driven. All of the above. Answer. Be secured when the bus is being driven. Question 78. Your bus is disabled. The bus, with riders aboard, may be towed or pushed to a safe place only. If getting off the bus would be more risky for the riders. If the distance is less than 500 yards. By another bus with its four-way flashers on. By a 27,000 GVWR or larger tow truck. Answer. If getting off the bus would be more risky for the riders. Question 79. When stopping for railroad tracks, you must stop no closer than how many feet before the nearest track? 25 15 50 20 Answer 15 Question 80. 
which one of the following types of cargo must never be carried on a bus with the passenger? Small arms ammunition, ORMT. Tear gas. Emergency hospital supplies. Emergency drug shipments. Answer. Tear gas. Question 81. When is it best to wear your seat belt? Only if your bus holds more than 27 people. Only when you will be driving over 35 miles per hour. Only if required by company policy. Always. Answer. Always. Question 82. When stopping for railroad tracks, you must stop no closer than how many feet before the nearest track? 50 15 25 20 Answer 15 Question 83. How many seats may be placed in the aisle if the bus is a charter and is carrying agricultural, farm, workers? 8 4 6 0 Answer 8 Question 84. When you discharge an unruly passenger, you must choose a place that is The next stop As safe as possible, or the next stop Dark and poorly lighted Off the regular route Answer As safe as possible, or the next stop Question 85. Which of these statements about speed management and braking is true? Stopping time increases one second for each 10 miles per hour over 20 miles per hour. The posted speed limit will always allow you to stop safely. You need about four times as much stopping distance at 40 miles per hour as at 20 miles per hour. The total stopping distance of a bus is the distance it takes to stop once the brakes are put on. Answer You need about four times as much stopping distance at 40 miles per hour as at 20 miles per hour. Question 86. Your bus is disabled. The bus, with riders aboard, may be towed or pushed to a safe place only by a 27,000 GVWR or larger tow truck if the distance is less than 500 yards by another bus with its four-way flashers on if getting off the bus would be more risky for the riders Answer. If getting off the bus would be more risky for the riders. Question 87. How many folding aisle seats are permitted in a bus that is not carrying farm workers? 6 4 8 0 Answer 0 Question 88. Buses may have recapped or regrooved tires. On any or all of the wheels. Only when the average speed will be less than 40 miles per hour. Anywhere except the front wheels. Only on the front wheels. Answer. Anywhere except the front wheels. Question 89. 
If the rider wants to bring a car battery or a can of gasoline or kerosene aboard your bus, you should have the rider pay a second fare. Tell them they must go to the rear of the bus. Instruct them to sit next to an open window. Not allow them to do it. Answer. Not allow them to do it. Question 90. How many seats may be placed in the aisle if the bus is a charter and is carrying agricultural, farm, workers? 4 6 8 0 Answer 8 Question 91 if your bus is equipped with an emergency exit door, it must not have any signs, stickers or marking near it. Be secured when the bus is being driven. Always have a red door light turned on. All of the above. Answer Be secured when the bus is being driven. Question 92. How many folding aisle seats are permitted in a bus that is not carrying farm workers? 4 6 8 0 Answer 0 Question 93. Never refuel your bus. With any of the windows open. In a closed building with passengers on board. Without a static chain. With a higher grade of fuel. Answer. In a closed building with passengers on board. Question 94. If there is no traffic light or attendant. How far from the draw of a drawbridge must you stop? 50 feet 5 feet 10 yards 100 feet Answer 50 feet Question 95. When is it best to wear your seat belt? Only when you will be driving over 35 miles per hour. Always. Only if your bus holds more than 27 people. Only if required by company policy. Answer. Always. Question 96. When you discharge an unruly passenger. You must choose a place that is as safe as possible, or the next stop. Off the regular route. Dark and poorly lighted. The next stop. Answer. As safe as possible, or the next stop. Question 97. You may sometimes haul small arms ammunition, emergency shipments of drugs or hospital supplies on a bus. The total weight of all such hazardous material must not be greater than 100 pounds 500 pounds 300 pounds 250 pounds Answer 500 pounds. Thank you for watching the video and wish you will get your driver license soon.